these are the supplies I'll be using for my first book project challenge, the Pamphlet Stitch Notebook. Cardstock for the cover and paper for the inside pages, plus scrap of each, brown craft paper for the pocket, bone folder, glue and or adhesive, gesso, sponge brush, a tapestry needle number 22, pearl cotton thread, awl, and some circle punches. Okay, the first step we'll be doing is um, taking care of our craft paper. Now I've just cut this long enough, and probably a little longer than needed for the pocket. This will be the pocket for our notebooks. And what we'll do is, with a dry sponge, just a cheapy sponge brush, we're just gonna, I mean, there is no wrong way to do this. We just want to get just a little bit of Not color, a um, little bit of texture, I'd say. And because this gesso dries so quickly, and you notice I'm moving the um, the sponge any which way. There is no which way to do this. You just put it on, and because the sponge is not wet, it's only wet with the gesso. That it dries pretty quickly. Whoops. Okay. That's it. There's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just slap it on and move on out. All right. Next step coming up. Okay, the next part is we're going to make our holes for our pamphlet stitch. So I like to work on one of them at a time. And one of the things you want to do is make sure your top and bottom holes are at least half an inch to five eighths of an inch away from the edges. And then because this is a three hole pamphlet stitch, we're just going to need one hole in the center. So let's get to that point. We're going to go 5 eighths, and then again 5 eighths from the edge. Since it's 6 inches, I know that it's 3 inches either side. So that's the center. And then all I do is put that back in, and I clip this so that the pages remain stable. And then I take my awl, and what I'm going to do is, where I have that, let's see if I can get that a little bit better so you can see where I'm doing it. So you can see those three points, one, two, and three. And all I'm going to do is, while holding them, I'm just going to go at an angle. This is a 45 degree angle, so I'm going straight out towards the edge, the folded edges here. And we're going to just go ahead and stick it through there, and you can see it come out there. And then we do this one. And then we do this one. Okay, and that's it. So what we're going to do is, and this is a basic pamphlet stitch, total basic. So what we're going to do is go in the center hole, pull it from the outside, to the outside, rather, I should say. And you want to leave meh, three, four inch tail on the inside. There's the tail. And then from the outside, because the thread is now on the outside, we're going to go through the outside into the top hole, bottom hole, doesn't matter which one it is. I'm going to pull it so it sits along the edge 
of the fold. And then I'm going to bypass the whole thing and go to the bottom hole. Pull it to the outside. And I'm going to pull. And then we go back into that same hole again, being careful not to come up in the thread itself. OK. And we're going to give this a little more room. I'm just distributing this a little more. And what you want to do is make sure one thread is lying left of the center, and one thread is lying, and if usual, I do that opposite. My left and right are always opposite. One thread that's lying right of the center, one thread that's lying left, and the thread is centered in the middle. See how the thread is centered in the middle? I'm going to lose that thread, lose that needle rather. And when you're tightening thread, because you're tightening against paper, you don't want to tighten, um, pull it in this direction. Because what that does is tear the paper. You don't want to make that hole any larger than it is, because then the papers won't sit right and they'll shuffle. So whenever you're pulling thread gently taut, you want to pull it in the direction of parallel with the thread itself. So I'm pulling parallel gently. And then I'm going to tie a square knot. And a square knot, for those who've done um, guides and scouts, a square knot is left over right and under. And I'm going to pull that tight because what I want to do is I want to have those, those threads against the fold sitting there nice and tight so your papers don't shift. And then right over left and under. And because it's a square knot, it's more than likely will not come out. I'm just going to leave a small tail. Cut it off, leave a small tail. You can take that clip off. And there you have it. There you have the pamphlet stitch. This is such an easy, 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 easy um, book to make. It is one of the most simplest books to make. Um, you've seen books like these with staples in the center. Um, because I like to stitch and I like to use my threads, I stitch all of my books together. You can use staples. You can even probably use a rubber band, um, although you won't have the stability like the thread or the staples will give it. But, I mean, it's up to you. So that's the beginning. That's, that's all it is. So now it's time to stitch the actual pocket. And what I've done is I've made a fold, scored a line, half an inch from one edge. You can see half an inch from one edge. And then from that, that fold, that first fold, I've made a, another score and fold three and three quarter inches away. So total, total from the edge is four and a quarter inches don't have to be precise fold and measure if you choose if you choose to but I know some people like to have the measurements now we'll just go ahead and stitch I've stitched you can see in the camera I've stitched up one side, across the top, and then down the other side. And what I've done, obviously, is created a cute little pocket that we'll put your journal. Now, as I said um, in the beginning, the pocket is just meant as a holder. Um, I just like how the, the pages look, the um, notebooks look in it. You can use this in a layout. If you're a scrapbooker, you can use this, especially in your journal, 
um, put adhesive glue on the back, a, um, not a, a light coating of it, not a heavy coating, because it is still paper nonetheless, and then um, stick memorabilia in it. If you have a longer story that you want to tell, write it in a long sheet of paper or a large sheet of paper and stick that in there so that you have a pocket, um, easy accessible pocket to hold interesting memorabilia, as I said, or um, notes. So let's get to decorating this now. Let me get this machine out of the way and um, we'll pause for a minute and we'll finish this up. Okay, so let's get to simple decorating. Not a whole lot to go with it because um, one of the reasons it's simple decorating is because when you use it in your journal or in your layout, your scrapbooking layout, um, you get to decorate it a little bit more. So this is just um, little bits to give it a little, little verb there. Anyway, what we need to do is um, cut the pieces for the circles. And remember I said out of this, this one will be the scallop. So let's cut that out. And that'll go center, quite center nicely. And then text. And um, do I want the colored text? Or do I want the white text? I think I just want the white text. Just any text will do. Okay, and then the button will go on there like that. We're just going to glue this to the center, and it's a little bit. Come on, let's have some glue here. Of course, no glue is coming up. Okay, we have glue coming out the side. That'll do. I'm just going to center that on there. No biggie. Whoops. Try and center it. I'll put it to one side. And then, let's move this away. I'm going to just make some, pierce some holes. And we'll get some thread. Really cool. And here's my pearl cotton. And we'll just get just enough to sew that. So as I said, maybe about seven inches. All right. We'll come in from the back side. Pick up our pick up our button. And of course, I'm leaving a little um, thread tail here. And I'm holding it down and I think I'll do opposites this time and because our holes are already um, made it just goes through quite easily just do a tie. I was going to do a tie in the front, but I didn't start that way. So you can start from the front. And this is a square knot again. You can start from the front and have thread tails hanging. But because I started from this from the from the back, I've got to go with this. It takes too much time. Alright. So now we want to take, that's done, that's a cute little, little embellishment. And you can make these embellishments yourself all over the place. You don't have to, um, I know the bought ones are really fun, but anyway. So now I'm going to adhere the cardstock, the little scrap of cardstock, to the front of the pocket. And I'm just going to ride the adhesive just along the edges. And then I usually do one in the center. Oops. 
and then I'm going to center it. That's it. Burnish it down, and with your fingers is fine. Let me cut off those thread tails from what I stitched. All right, and then this just goes in the center there. I'm going to use the um, the glue because I want it all over instead of the adhesive strips, the double-sided adhesive. We don't want it. I think I'd prefer using the glue. Get it all the way to the edges. And when I do my letters, when I do text, I don't want it to be red. So I usually turn my text upside down, sideways somewhere. And just adhere that down pretty well. And there you have it, your finished pocket. I think that's kind of cute. I love that. Simple, simple, simple. And your finished book sits right in there, ready for a journal page. So here's the finished one. And I've done a couple of more that I will be actually doing a tutorial on my website. So you guys can click on that. But it's a, a different way to make your folders. <clears throat> this one is basically the same size. Um, stitching is absolutely the same. But the only difference is here you have pockets. I love pockets. I love pockets. I put pockets in most of my journals. Um, and I thought for those who like to put little papers in or whatnot, um, there's pockets. So there's one pocket here. And then across the back, you see there's a second pocket. Now both front and back um, covers have both pockets. And it's just the way you cut, fold, <clears throat> and seal it that gives you the pockets. But as I said, I'll be putting a tutorial up. And the second one, the other way, is um, with the envelope closure. So you can see the envelope closure using a couple of brads and punched out holes punched out circles rather, and a little bit of string. And this one is slightly different. Um, I'm thinking when you need to save your page, probably do like that. But here is the finished one. There you go. So these two, the cutting directions for these two, I will put up as a tutorial on my website so you can go there. Um, this one is the one we made. This is the book project challenge, which is kind of cool. I like that. I don't know if you can see those those words. Be positive, be true, be grateful, organized, on time, proactive, resolved, be yourself. That one is key. That one is definitely key. Amazing, kind, helpful, and be still. I love those words right there. Love them. And the one that I will be um, giving away is this one. This is a two pocket, two um, notebook set. That This is the one I'll be giving away. So all you have to do is um, link, sign up, comment on my blog post when I do this. And you'll get the pocket as well. And my signature red ribbon tie. So there you go. Get those in there. This one is the giveaway. This is the book project challenge. This is such an easy book to make. Easy, easy, easy book. Um, quite convenient to have. And then um, the pocket that we made plus the two extra that I will be doing a tutorial on that you can download as a PDF on my website. So there you go. Book Project Challenge number one is done. See you guys later.